Okay, so we have some puppies. These puppies are, uh, this is Friday, so they were born Wednesday, so they're only a few days old. Um, these are rare party color Yorkies. Um, they are in a incubator right now, um, which is gonna be about me in a minute. But um, I was going to tape their journey. Um, their mom had to have a C-section, which can happen. Um, for Yorkies, it's one of those. She's delivered naturally, but she's also had to deliver by C-section. Sometimes you get a little bit bigger um, puppy. That makes it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> so sometimes we have to do C-sections on them um, for the safety of the pups and the mom if she's struggling too much because we don't want to lose all of them. So um, I'm going to do a video a little later. This is my incubator. Um, this is telling me that the temperature has dropped too low um, since I have the door open right now. But they just got fed, so I'm probably going to try to do another video the next feeding, which is in two hours. Um, this, just to give you a little, and you'll see this a lot, but this is the temperature gauge. Um, this actually tells the incubator what the temperature is, and it's a little lower um, because it has fans that pull out and lights and all kinds of stuff in here. But um, when we did the C-section, they wound up putting little stitches on the belly buttons. That way they um, are tied off and their belly buttons can heal and they don't have a long string. Their mom is fine. Um, sometimes after you do C-sections, the mom um, doesn't take to the puppies as well or takes a little longer to accept them. Um, sometimes they'll take right to them right after a C-section and sometimes it'll take a day, two days. and. Uh, there's unfortunate cases that sometimes they um, don't take to them. So this is kind of a trial and error. Um, she acknowledges her puppies, um, but she's not thrilled with them right now. So it's safer for me to um, really be more hands-on with this litter and check on them, make sure they get food every two hours, either by supplementing with a bottle or uh, sitting down and putting them on her just to make sure that they definitely get the food that they need. But I just said, um, we'll videotape again in a few hours and I think I'm gonna tape their journey. Um, cause there's a lot of people that you know, would like to see this process. And also there's people that, um, maybe could use this video in the future if something comes up and, um, they need to learn how to bottle feed babies and kind of a, like a crash course on how to do it and uh, you have to be very careful with bottle feeding um, so anyways I'll keep you all posted um, they are three little girls I haven't named them yet but um, they are all three little girls which it's a little odd because I'm um, usually you have you know a mixture in the litter but we have three little girls this time so we're gonna have fun over the next few weeks um, doing bottle feeding or trying to get them to latch on between the two and I said hopefully the mom takes a little better with them and if not um, we're just gonna be up every two hours and it'll be okay we're just gonna have a party but I'll check in with you guys a little later bye